here I am again today. Again. I'm telling you, I'm just a pain in my own neck. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm making. I took two pieces of my um, scrappy fabric that I'm working on. I make just scraps, 10 inch squares every once in a while and just pile them up. And then I think it's something I want to do with them. Well, I wanted to make a little owl. So I took a piece of paper here and I cut what I think was a shape like of an owl. Well, first it was too fat, so I folded it right here. And it made like the shape of an owl. And so this is what I came up with. And so then just on the front half, I sewed on a couple of pieces for the eyes and then the little two little buttons for the eyes. And then I took a little piece of orange and I put it there for her beak. And so then what I want to do is I want to reach over here and get my, where did I put them? Oh, just, I gotta get, I gotta make my arm a little longer just a second. There they are. I wanted to get these here scissors right here. Um, oh, and I just wanted to show you too. I made another one of the of the iron the iron um, age costumes. This one, this one, absolutely no sewing. Two pieces of the rectangle, one on the front, one is on the back. It is put pinned together at the shoulders, the two rectangles. Then her arms would come out of the side. And then, um, and then it is pinned together on the sides, the two rectangles. You see I've got a little safety pin on each side. And then there is a rectangle for the apron and it is just folded and then a piece of their braid through to tie it on. And so I think that turned out really well. And um, now that one is absolutely no sewing and they wore their clothing just exactly like that. Now they probably may have had underneath it a tunic underneath this too. I don't quite remember about that. So I did that today. And then what did I do today? Oh, today I kind of finished up my little doll. I gave her a hat and a little bow to match, which that kind of finished her up. That's Hilda. Then I started over here. See, I just do so many things. Then I started making a cuff, which just some fabric that I'm stitching. And see, I start something and then I put it off to the side. And so this is going to have a button right here. So then that will fashion around onto my wrist. And it'll just be a cuff. But I got more buttons and stuff I'm going to put on here. But then I put that off to the side because then I thought I wanted to work on this little owl. So then what I'm going to do with this owl is it's going to get all the way around. See? Because here on the edges, see how I stitched it together? It stitched on the outside. I didn't stitch it, then turn it. I just stitched it together on the outside. And then I'm snipping it like you would a rag quilt. If you've ever made a rag quilt, you put it together and then you snip all the seams. And um, you snip all the seams like this way. And then when you wash it, all those seams just fray. And they make like almost, it looks like a chenille kind of a seams. The seams look chenille in your in your um, red quilt and so this is sort of the same thing I'm doing here is I'm just trimming, just snipping 
being careful not to snip snip the um the seam i don't want to snip the seam and um so i'm going to go ahead and pause this while i go all the way around okay all right and i also wanted to say too these scissors these snippers i'm using are made just for rag quilting that's what they're made for so they're made to where you can snip through many layers of fabric because when you rag quilt it is usually many layers and so there I've got the edges and then you can see how that looks because it's already um, layers of fabric because the way I put the pieces together very um, there's a lot of layers of fabric, so then that makes the edge to be very fluffy. And so I am almost out of, oh my, if I run completely, what am I going to do running out of polyfill or whatever you call this stuff? I used up what was in a pillow, and then my friend sent me some. And um, I'm going to have to order some more. I don't think it can't possibly be expensive, though. So I'm going to just stuff it in there. Stuff it in, stuff it in. Let me see if I can just poke it in with this, get it up in her ears. Well, this isn't real good to poke it in with because it's a hook. It wants to hook it back out. Hook it back out. Wait a minute, let me get a pencil. I have a pencil here with an eraser on it. Oh, oh there's one. Good. A pencil with an eraser. I was told by someone before to use a pencil. In the comments, you guys, I, I read my comments. I learn. But somebody told me, use a pencil with an eraser because the eraser pushes on the, on the polyfill and makes it go where you want it to go. And which, go where I want you to go up in that ear. Okay. I don't know if that's an ear on, a, on these little munchkins or not. Is that an ear up there on like a great horned owl? An ear or is that a... I guess it's an ear. I'm going to call it a ear. Yeah, I'm going to call it an ear. And I'm just going to fill your ear up. Make sure that you've got a nice... So you can hear. you got to be able to hear. Certainly. And I don't know why when I make an owl any kind of owl. It always makes me think of of um, Janet Nash over there in in the UK. She likes her owls too. There was that one time in my life that I was afraid of owls and I don't even remember why I was afraid of owls. And um Maybe it was something my mother said or something. I don't know. Because she had me afraid of peacocks, too. She said it was bad luck to have a peacock. You know what? I think, I don't know where I didn't put the, um, I didn't put the, I still had it on pause. And I was just filming away, but I wasn't filming. But I did fill her up. Did you see that? I filled her up with polyfill. I went all the way around with the um, snippers and then I um, use up the rest of my polyfill to fill her and now I'm going to have to find some more polyfill. Um, I'm fluffing. This is fluffing. Look at the edge of that. How pretty that is. And that's by stitching, not stitching and turning, but stitching and then cutting the edges. And look how pretty she turned out. I think she's gorgeous. 
and she's just a small one because I knew I didn't have much polyfill to make anything bigger. But also because I have 10 by 10 squares that I have uh, quilt made into patchworks, I have a lot of that around. So, but see how fluffy the edges are because I because I made it with my. Um, scrappy fabrics, you know, and is there anything else I could do to her to make her look more owlish? Put her two little feet down here or something? I just like her just like it is. Now see, now this is a very short video because I had it on pause. <laughs> ow, 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 Pluto! Oh, oh. She stretches. She's got these nine yard long legs and then she stretches and puts one foot right on my foot and pushes and it hurts. I am, she doesn't do it on purpose. My feet are tender. I'm telling you, I'm a tender foot. Okay, enough complaining. I'm the one that lets her come under. But anyhow, that's my little owl pillow now. And I think she's gorgeous. I think she's beautiful. But, um, oh my, but the things you can make out of just scraps, just scraps. And then I made her eyes just a solid color, just so that they would show. And I put the eyes, and then I just zigzag stitched around. And then see on the, but the button parts, it says handmade with love. See that? So, okay, so what I did with my window now, <gasps> oh, boy, pooch. See, I, now you can kind of see what it looks like when it's dark. I put all, I put hooks, these sticky things with the hooks, I put them on the windows. I still have a little spot on that side of the window, right there. Cause I ran out of the sticky cooks. I'm gonna order more from the team. And then I just hung that little piece, that little piece of um, quilted piece. I just hung that over the um, over the rod there for now. I might put something else later on, but I just put that for now. But I can still hang things even from that. But I've got all my like. A jillion necklaces. These were donated to me that I could take them apart and use them for crafts, which I have taken many apart and used them for crafts. And I can even take more. I mean, now I can see what I have because they're all right there. And I think it looks beautiful just like that. I just love that window. And so that's my window. And there's the... Um, the um, shoe rack that Papa put that up on the wall for me and so I bought just this narrow one and it was just cheap it was like eight dollars for that thing but it's up there on the wall now and but then I can have things in there that I'm oftentimes I got my glue sticks are in there my tape dispenser up there I've got my thing with all my crochet hooks because I go looking for that pouch and I can't find it. I know I got it somewhere and there it is. It's right in there now. So my scissors are all in there. I've got a lot of things in there that, um, and things might change around, you know, as I have them in there. You know, whatever I need, you know, whatever I'm working on. And so, but everything, everything is coming together as I'm, um, getting things, well, I got, I got <laughs> scraps all over me. Yes, I'm wearing the same dress I was wearing in the last video because it's still the same day. And um, so, oh, then, I, oh, and today also what I did was I um, started cutting, well, I've been drinking my, it's cold now. But I like cold coffee. And, uh, ow, 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 Pluto! Do you do that on purpose? This is my foot down here. 
You keep your foot to yourself and you keep my feet to myself. Thank you. But anyhow, oh, well, I don't know where I put them, but I have little circles that I've been cut. I wonder what I did with those circles. I'm also, well, anyway, I am, so, well, see, now I cleared my desk off and now, oh, there they are right there in front of me. See this? I Two layer circles. I've been just cutting them and then I stitch them or, or stitch them around and then I cut them. But these are to make another flower. But I got quite a few of those circles. I did that today. I, I, I get a lot done in a day, but hardly anything ever finished. Because I just get busy and I just, I do so many different things. I took my one, the dolly I made this morning. I took her apart and I'm going to read. Oh, that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to redo her because see, here's her little necklace. I'm going to redo her and um, because I want, I want to do her a little bit more, see, because she was dressed. She was dressed earlier, now she's not dressed. And so, but I've got all her pieces and I'm going to put her back together, but I'm going to put her with a little bit, just a little bit more thought and I won't hurry. And when I do something on the video, I'm, I kind of hurry. I kind of hurry them up. Oh, and then I wanted, see my two Cabbage Patch dolls up there? Yeah, those are my two Cabbage Patch dolls. I want to give them, I, I decided they need to have some bling, so I'm going to give them a brooch. That's my plan, because I have brooches all over everything, and I want to give them each a little brooch. And, um, yeah. I guess that's all I have to share with you right now. So, I just got too much over you. Every step you take, every move you make. Keep you safe and secure. Keep you happy, healthy, and humble. And no matter how life, how hard life gets, stay another day. God bless and keep you. May he watch every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you maybe, oh, I won't see you again tonight, no. Because I gotta be quiet now, because now Papa's gonna go to bed. And um, so I have to now be quiet and shut my mouth. Shut the old yapper. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go, and and hopefully you've seen enough of my owl. But um, hopefully you've seen enough of my owl. But um, I know it was on pause for quite a while. Oh, I forgot I had put it on pause. Okay, I'll see you again. God bless.